Hello and welcome to our video series on WSFTP. Now in this video we're going to be showing you how to transfer your files. Now remember as you're watching this video you can always use the pause and rewind buttons below the screen to watch and rewatch this video until you have this task mastered. So let's get right to it. Of course the first thing you want to do is open up your WSFTP software and we can't transfer any files if we're not connected to our server. So that's next. Let's go on over here and click on the connect icon, scroll down and then click on the, the uh, name of the site that we created earlier. And that should connect us. There we go. And of course this page verifies that the remote site has been connected. Now, after we're connected, you can select one or several files. Now, how you select several files to transfer is you just hold your shift button down and then highlight the other files you want to transfer and then click on the appropriate arrow button. And by the way, it's the one pointing in the direction you want to transfer the files, in this case, from the local to the remote browser. Oh, and as a safety precaution, if the same name file exists on the remote site, then WSFTP will ask if you want to overwrite those files or not. And you can see down here in the bottom uh, the process as it's taking place. And now downloading the files is the same process uh, from the remote site here. You just select the files you want to download. There, now that we're done. And just select the files you want to download and then click on the appropriate arrow to transfer the files to the local browser. And again, of course, you want to click on the arrow that's pointing in the direction you want your files to go in. There. Now, to edit how you would like to upload the files, click on the transfer button over here on the uh, eh, kind of top right. Now, most of the time it's going to be set to auto transfer. Now, if you've got certain files like CGI or encrypted files that you want to set a certain way, then you can click on ASCII or binary and that will take care of that for you. And that's bringing us to the end of this video on how to transfer your files in WSFTP.